Uh, it's the stock tip number eight of a crispy charge. I've heard from both uh, Steve Lacey and Ashley Davis. How can you get 20 questions of the battle of Stockton? Well, how do you even know you can get 20 questions of the battle? That's a question we have to ask. Let's go. And uh, so this is 20 questions on the Battle of Stockton or other things relating to Stockton. As <laughs> I went to Stockton Library and asked, did you have any information about the Battle of Stockton? And they said, was there a Battle of Stockton? So <laughs> every, every Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> so, so question one. What date did the Battle of Stockton take place? Steve The 10th of September 1933. Correct. What? How do you know so much about Stockton? This was the first known backlash to the fascist movement. No, 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 no. Battle Cable Street. No, minus one. This was the first known backlash to the fascist movement that has been compared to the Battle of Cable Street in 1936 and which other battle at Worthing in 1934? Ashton. South Street. It's actually correct. Yeah. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it, Ashton? Well, it's not stopped in the world. Who was the leader of the black shirts on the day? Michael. Collier. Collier's correct. Norman Collier. Captain Vincent Collier. <laughs> a convoy of coaches parked up at nearby Barnaby. Which crossing of the tea city? Ashton? Victoria Bridge is correct? Yes! You're from there? That's very special. It's not 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 very The battle started on Stockton's High Street, which has what unique. See you again? The Sub Street. No. See you, Lizzie. It smells no. like Bigfoot's dick. Tony W. It's the widest Tony in Europe. Southern the widest Jesse. in Europe is correct. I'm Tony W. That's an RPE revision. Who was the MP for Stockton on Tees at the time? Tony? Bill Rogers. No. Bill Rogers? I didn't do it. Harold McMillan's correct, Sam. I thought it was going to say at the time of something else, whatever. He's the most famous film in Scotland. Well, apart from Harold Macmillan. Which we may do with Stocks and Ballard. I forgot what's on Ballard Stocks. Ballard Stocks. The battle is not the only historical event to happen on Stockton High Street. What was invented by John Walker in the... Michael? Uh, yep, for Richard Match. Homing in on the title. Under which thoroughfare did the anti fascists fall? Ashton? Silver Street? Correct. Yeah, Silver Street is just over there. Yes! Yes! I haven't done any of these issues. Yeah, you should have to say exactly where it is. I need a specific answer. What projectiles were thrown at the ratchets? Ashton? Yes, potatoes with embedded razor blades. Yes. You must have realised. Yes. Stuff would be a major medical matter. I think you've got that from being blind. Violence was on the streets of Stockton 60 years later when the residents of Witcher State rioted in the summer of 1992. Tony? Rapid. Correct. I've never heard of it, but it just says rise. Copy rapid. I've never heard of it. How many police officers were present? Let's see. Yeah. Correct? Oh, come on. Boo boo. <laughs> what? Everybody knows. Ask Kevin Ashton. Just like I did. How many arrests? Oh, 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 oh. Six Panther. How many arrest arrests were made on the day of the battle? Michael. None. Correct. Who oh, no. on the title? Um, Anti-fascists outnumbered the black shirts roughly by what ratio? See, Lizzie? Ten to one. Correct. 
There was roughly 200 to 300 black shirts and 2,000 to 3,000 anti-fascist uh, Members of the Labour Party, Independent Labour Party, the Communist Party. Is it good? The unemployed party, the unemployed party in the world. The unemployed, the unemployed workers party. I'll give you National Employed Workers Movement. Six Panther. Six Panther. Six Panther. Six Panther. Okay, um, so that's uh, all the questions on this battle of Stockton now out, so there's five random questions about Stockton. Uh, nicknamed the Teesside Tornado, Sam? Oh, no. No. Oh, that's my <laughs> yeah, Michael? Kilty. Yep, Richard Kilty, that's correct. The uh, World Championship gold in the 60 metres. Richard Kilty. Yeah, Richard Kilty. So, well done, Stockton. Many a good Stocktonian attended Grangefield School, including yours truly. But the most famous duo to attend the school were which two prolific movies? Tony. Um, reason one. Nope. Still biased at that. Minus one. Mm -hmm. Reason one. Duo. Ah. Which uh, duo to attend the school? Scott. Scott Brothers. Yep, Scott Brothers, Ridley and Tony Scott. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, along with Washington, Marley and Meadowhall, Stockton was one of the 13 sites of which hypermarket chain, which was discontinued in 2005, after Sainsbury's decided to retire the brand? Mike? Nope. Mike Lee? Phil Richardson? Service center. Service center is correct. Oh, right. Karma dictates you win. Uh, Stockton is of course famous for the Stockton and Darlington Railway, which was the first ever passenger carrying train service. But Stockton has lost most of its railway heritage apart from one building, which is currently used as a recovery house for ex-addicts. Yeah. What was the purpose of this building in its heyday? Mm -hmm. Mike Prison. No. Sam? Railway engine shed? Nope. Steve Good? The station master. Nope. Mike? The uh, signal wouldn't work. Nope. Ashton? Mine's going to step over. Nope. Steve Lacey? We can go and take the books for sports. Nope. Tony Richards? Ticket office. The ticket office is correct. Do you know how much of this class is what you want now? And the final question. Stockton Town reached the final of the FA Vars last year. Which team did defeat them in the final? Steve uh, Kidd? Uh, uh, Worcester and... Uh, nope. No. Michael? Alive? Nope. Mike, please? Uh, FC United and Manchester. Nope. Lee? Nope. Sam? Whitehawk? Nope. Tony Richardson? Was it South Shields, was it? Nope. Ashton? Patchum? Patchum's correct. Tony, could you read the film that one? How dare you be? Oh, they actually just get two bars. Oh my goodness. Tell them all about what's going on here. Yes. Do you want to read out all of them? Yes. Oh, he's won on last time. It's a stop as a special subject. So those who trouble the scorers positively. Clive Dunn in two. Tony Walmsley 2, Steve Kidd 4, myself 4, Steve Lacey 1, Michael Lippart on 8, and the winner Ashton Davies on 10.